hi friends i have the most beautiful michelle in the studio yes 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 to show you guys the brand new liner palette okay so summer is coming up and most of the time during summer we lighten our hair um i need to go get my roots done by the way um i know right <laughs> So that also means that our line work should go lighter or at least add some variety to your, uh, your style. So if you've watched this channel, my YouTube channel over the years, you notice that I don't do a lot of black outlining. Why? Mainly because I work outside and it's very hot here in South Florida. So black is a hard color to fix uh, when you make a mistake. So I use either white for outlining or I've been playing with different colors, which is why I put together this fancy, fabulous, um, liner palette and it was actually Lisa Pisa's idea she goes you love all those colors why don't you put together a palette of just liner colors one it fits nicely in your craft and go so you can just magnetize the back and then you have your liner colors um, also it just gives me or forces me to try new things which is always important as an artist you want to grow you want to get better you want your work um, to evolve so I'm going to show you guys the differences and what um, color combinations that you can use or why this palette is so awesome so you can add it to your kit so as always thank you for joining me thank you for uh, watching my youtube channel and faba tv and supporting silly farm if you don't know or you live under a rock in your silly farm orders you are going to get one of these fabulous new magazines i put these together to let you know about upcoming events to show off your work look at this gallery of unicorn fabulosity uh, so i put together galleries to show you guys off um, art step by step so these are free um, inside of your orders so definitely this is a whole nother reason to shop at Silly Farm because we love to give you free stuff um, if you ever have questions you can contact me or Michelle she's amazing at customer service she knows everything about every product here uh, so give us a call chat us and of course stay in touch so let's get started so this rainbow cake, this one is baby doll, I believe, designed by the one and only Cameron Garrett. I know you probably never heard of her. She's like not that popular. Just kidding. Anyways, all of the colors in this particular rainbow cake are pastel colors. So if you were to just go in with a black outline, sometimes it overshadows how beautiful the actual um, cake and colors are because black can really add a lot more of a, of a darker tone to the design, especially on a butterfly face. You have a beautiful uh, pastel colors and then you have a a thick black outline just sometimes it takes away from it so um, all I'm going to do is just load up my rainbow cake and show you some test swatches on Michelle's fabulous back look at this back she's been doing all these exercises and boot camps I'm very proud of her uh, because while I'm celebrating taco Tuesday she is pumping iron so kudos to you Michelle all right so I'll start off here and I'll just make kind of like a little swatch so it can look like a butterfly wing. Okay, so since these colors are really pastel, uh, you have a couple of options. Ink blue, it looks black on here, but I designed it after the global dark blue, which I totally love. The only problem I was having is that it's a very intense color, so sometimes the residue would stay. So I needed something that washed off a little faster. So this ink blue is a fabulous color to outline these pastels with because it gives you the darkness of black, uh, but it gives you just a little bit of that offset because it's a dark blue. So I'm gonna be using another one of Cameron's uh, creations this is her beautiful butterfly brush which I love so much to, to, to make dagger strokes okay so um, I'm just gonna make these dagger strokes so that you can see what a nice edging this is Okay, so I'm gonna do the same stroke across the bottom just using the black so you can see um, the color contrasts. Okay. So equally are beautiful in terms of just their pop against the colors, but the blue gives it to me much more lighter, brighter summer feel, and also just a different look for the butterfly. You can always drag blend these colors in, and if you drag blended the black in a little bit more, you're gonna end up covering it, um, and the black against the yellow sometimes just seems to be a little more. So as you can see, this contrast right here, really beautiful both ways, but I, I really like the way that the ink blue pops against those pastel colors so let me show you another color combination 
Must be Cameron Day in the studio. This is also a Cameron cake. I love this one. It's called Strawberry Shortcake. And if you notice, there's a mixture of metallics in here. So the metallics as well um, tend to be, you know, tend to fall on the side of being a little bit more pastel uh, shimmery. So you don't want to cover them up. You want to show their natural beauty. So again, just going to create a little sample. Load up your sponge. And I love this one too, this strawberry shortcake. It looks really beautiful on every skin tone. So again, I'm just going to create another little swatch here. So one color that I love to use to outline with is the Fab Plum. It looks again kind of brownish in the container, but then when you use it on the skin, it's like a beautiful wine color. It's also really good for zombies, uh, like zombie darker blood. So I'm just going to load my brush again with the plum and I'll do the top wing with the plum and the bottom wing using the black, just so you can see the contrast. So here I would just create the outlines and connect it there. So you see how beautiful that uh, kind of wine red pops against fish color along the border, really nice transition, really gonna be good for you if you wanna drag blend any of those edges. I'll just add another set of wings in here just to show you the difference. Then so um, I'll do the bottom in black. So same. And mind you, they both look beautiful again, but I think in moving more towards summer, brighter colors, uh, mixing it up a few times with your butterflies, having that alternative to just a black border, using these reds, using these dark blues makes a huge difference. You can see it right here. The most popular rainbow cake that we carry, look, you can tell mine is has a hole in the middle because it's used so much, is the neon rainbow cake. Super, super popular, um, definitely our best seller. And I love using the petrol blue or the snow patrol as a border for this one, uh, just because I want the colors to shine through as bright as possible. So I'll show you what I mean. All right, so for this one, we're just gonna pretend like we're doing, um, I guess we could pretend like we're doing somewhat of a princess crown versus just a butterfly. So you're gonna pat down the colors right there and I'll just add it here, okay? So as you can see, that blend is so beautiful all on its own. Petrol blue is this mixture of like a sea blue with cyan, like it's just a beautiful color and I love it. Uh, that's the name of Michelle's baby girl. So it's such a beautiful, beautiful color. Okay, so this is one of my favorite brushes of all time. It's called the Little Drop Brush. I use it for teardrops because it makes the best big teardrops, especially for princess crowns. I'll show you what I mean. So here I'm just going to make these teardrops coming in. So you see the way that the petrol just pops against those bright colors without overpowering it or, um, or taking anything away from it. Another color that is absolutely beyond incredible is the purple rain. That is this purple color. So everyone's always calling me, asking me for a true purple, like a Barney purple, one that doesn't go on too pink, one that doesn't look too um, reddish. And this purple seems to do the trick. It's a fantastic outline color too. So right here, so. just pretend like this is kind of like a mask that we're doing. So I can just create a little heart right inside of there and add my teardrops, of course, and just bring teardrops right around add it. Add some swirls inside of there. Some Marcella Bustamante squigglies, because those are always um, our favorite. And you see, by just using purple on top as opposed to a black, it gives it a whole new dynamic. It the does other cool part, about using um, colors instead of just black as an outline is uh, they look really good when you highlight them using white. Uh, the Wolf White has been out of stock forever, so I've been using the Diamond FX White, which works exactly the same way, so don't fret. Okay, so I can go right on top of any of those colors and they look so good when you highlight them with white. They don't cover. Uh, they just kind of pop right on top of it, gives it that 
sometimes that little sparkle that it needs to just pop even more. And it brings the whole uh, design together. And you have a good, nice bright. So you see the difference? I'll add a little bit of white on top of the black right inside of here. but you just enhance it more than anything else. So the, I'm going to show you really quickly before I end this fabulous uh, video, a little swipe of each of the colors in the palette so you can see how they look on the skin. So. guys thank you for joining me i hope you like this demo of the brand new fab liner palette i want to thank michelle for being an amazing model as you can see um, here is the color patterns or the uh, color swatches of all the colors in the palette it just gives you a new variation on doing your same old designs because you'd be surprised if you go do birthday parties and you do the same butterfly every time if you just change up one thing, like an outline color, it's gonna look totally different. So it's gonna give you a lot more variety. It's a space saver uh, because you don't need a whole lot of room to just have colors that you would line with. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you get something from it. I hope it inspires you to try something new. Summer is all about new, new, new. And if your home snowed in because spring has never sprung, uh, get out these colors, try something new. Watch Alyssa's class. It was mind mind boggling it's like blew my mind the way she uses those powders and i'm excited to get used to them uh coming with the summer months where it's so hot and i dread putting lots of makeup on so michelle's gonna just kind of oops sorry wrong way all right thank you guys for joining us make sure you connect with us on facebook on our chat michelle picks up the live chat she's here to help you come visit us in the, showroom. Us in the showroom we love having people come and shop at silly farm so thanks for joining me if you like my videos please subscribe Subscribe, send me feedback. I love to hear from you. And happy painting, friends. Bye.